On today's Toy Spot, woo, we're going to be looking at DC Universe Wave 4, Despero's Wave. We'll be looking at Wonder Woman. Now, you'll have to excuse my uh, little joyful glee. I was really looking forward to getting the Wonder Woman. Um, little short story, when I originally saw that the wave was coming out, I believe the first figure I saw the wave, uh, the first figure I saw from the wave was Captain Adam. And I thought, man, I really want to get a Captain Adam. Then they showed the picture of the Wonder Woman, and I knew Wonder Woman was coming out in the wave sooner or later, or in one of the waves, but as soon as I found out that she was part of this wave, I, I, I had no other reason to want to get this wave what, but then to get the Wonder Woman and to get the Captain Adam. And then, of course, solely as they revealed the other pictures of the characters, uh, when we found out there was a Batman Beyond, uh, again, it was win, win, win. So the set as a whole is stacking up to be, and when I found out about the figures, definitely was a wave I wanted to get. Um, let's not wait anymore. Let's, uh, let's go through the packaging quickly on Wonder Woman. I want to get this out of the package and have a, a better look at the figure. Um, as you can see, there's a nice picture of uh, Wonder Woman's face down there. And it's got the same uh, orange starburst effect in the background here. Now, obviously, if you're watching this video and you've seen pictures of the Wave 12, you'll know that they've actually changed the packaging since then. Um, I like the new packaging much more than this classic packaging. But, uh, it, you know, it's still, it's still nice, and I always like the fact that the figure was fully encased in, in one bubble versus, you know, a smaller bubble and a card. It's much easier to stack these figures when you have them on the shelf. Um, but on the back of the packaging, the other figures in this wave, the other figures in this wave are Captain Adam, we've got Batman Beyond, we've got Cyborg, we've got Wonder Woman, and we've also got Ares. Now, Wonder Woman also did come with an Artemis repaint. Um, and it actually wasn't quite a repaint. They, they've changed a lot to the figure. So I'll do a review of her as well. Um, but the read-up on Wonder Woman says, Wonder Woman began life as a child sculpted from clay by the Amazon queen, uh, Hippol Hippolyta. I'm sorry if I, spelled, I said that wrong. She was known as Princess Diana and raised by the warrior sisterhood. In a contest to choose an ambassador to the world of man... Uh, Patriarch's world. She blessed all of her sisters and was awarded the mantle. Oh, she bested. I said blessed. She bested all of her sisters and was awarded the mantle of Wonder Woman. Now she carries the Amazon's message of peace armed with a magical golden lasso and bulletproof bracelets. Uh, first appearance, All-Star Comics number 8, Winter 1941. Real name, Princess Diana of Themyscira. Uh, occupation Ambassador of Peace, Base of Operations, New York City, uh, and Themyscira. Uh, special abilities, powers of the Olympian gods, including great strength, speed, flight, and agility. Bracelets deflect bullets. Unbreakable golden lasso compels anyone bound by it to speak the truth. And there is Wonder Woman. Um, like I said, and I probably said this several times already, I'm really looking forward to getting this package open up and getting a better look at the figure. So let's not wait any longer. We'll, we'll uh, get this, this opened up. Stay tuned, guys, and uh, stay tuned. This figure is gorgeous, an absolute gorgeous looking figure. Uh, before we actually look at Wonder Woman a little bit better, uh, we'll look at the part. Your checklist time, guys. Uh, as you know, we've already got the upper torso of Despero. Uh, cat, uh, Wonder Woman comes with one of his legs. One of his legs. So what we'll do is we'll put the leg on Despero here. The one thing you have to worry about is that these little side straps, you kind of have to wrap them around his leg and then snap the leg into place. And if you've seen my review of Solomon Grundy, I seem to have the same problem right now, that that side, you kind of have to tuck it in. Uh, I want to do this on camera here. There we go. Very difficult. Um, as you can see, the belt kind of got in the way. You kind of have to push it up and then tuck it in. But 
as far as I know, I don't think that leg's going anywhere now. Uh, so as you can see, we've got the leg on Despero. He's not really going to do much so far. We're going to have to see if we can get some more parts put on him. Uh, but there you go. Leg out of the way. Now that the leg is on Despero, let's get a better look at Wonder Woman. Uh, before we actually look at Wonder Woman, we'll do something a little different. We'll go through the accessories first. As you can sh see, she comes with a shield. Nice gold shield with stars all around it. Um, it's the metallic paint, and as you can see, uh, my concern with Captain Atom, um, some of the gold paint is starting to flake off the shield. Uh, hopefully long term it's not going give to give me too, too much problem. The shield you can snap in the side of her arm, like that if you really want. Uh, she also does come with an axe, an axe that says China on it. And there doesn't seem to be any paint problems on the axe for paint coming off. Uh, the axe you can put in her hand. Um, it doesn't sit. It doesn't sit snugly. I mean, as you can see, it's. It does want to fall out. But you can have her holding her axe. Um, I when I think of Wonder Woman, though, I probably don't think of having an axe or a shield with her. So when I display her, I probably will leave both off. Probably leave both off. Uh, but it's nice, at least, that they've given you accessories. Uh, speaking of accessories, however, take the shield off here. Speaking of accessories, she also does come with a her, la her golden lasso of truth. And uh, the only downside, though, is it's not removable. As you can see, it's just a single sculpted piece of plastic. It would have been nice maybe if they had given you like that old the old gold roping uh, that they that used to come with some of the figures that where you can actually have it loose if you wanted to. Uh, that would have been nice. I don't know why they would have just given us a sculpted piece. but Accessories out of the way though, uh, a, a fantastic looking figure. I, I love the paint that was done on the figure as you can see, they, she's got the stars all in her trunks, in her, in her shorts there. She's got the red. Um, there seems to be a little bit of paint wear, like some of the paint, the skin colored paint has come off her leg, a little bit on her back. Uh, it's a little splotchy on the on the back here in the red. But really, that aside though, it's it's still gr it's still a nice looking paint job. It's very vibrant, it's very bright, and that was one of my problems I had with the Harlequin figure, was the fact that her colors were just so dingy. Um, had they given her the, the bright red, the bright white that this Wonder Woman figure had, I probably would have rated her a little higher than what I did. As you can see as well, they've put nice blue, they put blue in her hair as well, just to kind of break it up so it's not just solid black. Um, actually with the blue in her hair, her hair does kind of glisten. I think that looks really really nice. Um, one thing as well I, I'd like to mention too is that the color of the flesh, her flesh color, is very nice. It's not, it's not like a dingy flesh color which some of the older figures suffered from. Uh, the, the flesh in this, the flesh paint in, in this figure is very bright while still looking natural. It doesn't look, doesn't look off. Um, in the way of her articulation, uh, being that she is a female sculpt, I worry a bit about the bicep area here. If you've seen my review of Catwoman, you know that this area is very prone to being very loose and almost on the point of wanting to break off. Uh, her, she has articulation in her head. Now you can't get a lot of movement just because her hair prevents some of that from happening. As you can see as well, she's got her little uh, red earrings as well. Um, she has the articulated shoulder. They can move in and out. She can rotate the, ooh, the bicep. You can bend at the elbow. You can also rotate the hand. The mid torso joint, you can bend the her at the mid torso. You can rotate the waist. 
Sorry, I always worry when it comes to female sculpted uh, DC characters. You can bend the leg back and forth. You can bend it slightly out. Slightly out. Um, you can rotate the thigh. You can bend the knee and you can bend the foot. Um, aside really from articulation problems, I absolutely love this figure. Uh, it's it's such a nice looking figure. Uh, so much so, I would probably give her about an 8. If for no other reason than the sculpt and the paint. Um, I might have almost given her a 9, but just the problems with some of the paint and the, and the articulation, while you know all figures tend to share these same, the same mold, um, I would probably give her higher had not been for those those issues, but a great figure nonetheless. An eight for Wonder Woman. Uh, will there be any figure that gets better bigger than eight? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But that was a toy spot on the DC Universe Wave Four, the very sexy Wonder Woman. Stay tuned, guys, for more toy spots of DC Universe figures. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later.